Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we are going to do something just a little bit different. Um, I'm going to share with you, I'm starting a new devotional, and uh, I'm going to try and work through it. Uh, there's about four or five of us at the office that are really having a tough time with surviving in a man's world. And I found this, it's called the Boss Babe Devotional or something. Anyway, so this week's um, Bible verse is Psalms 139.14. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So, and then of course it's got some prayers and some a worksheet and some things that I could do to embrace my inner strength so um and it talks about no matter what your titles are first and foremost you are a child of god so you're on his path it doesn't matter what happens in the man's world or you know what's going at work you are first and foremost a child of god and he has a path for you so all right, let's get into it. I'm still working on all of the same crochet things. But this weekend, I spent most of my time, I had to take a uh, worm to the vet. And uh, that kind of was in the middle of the day. And then grocery shopping and cleaned the house. And yeah, all those things. But then Sunday, I sat down at the embroidery machine and I really took some time to play with it and see what it could do. And I got into some freestanding lace and I am loving it. Um, I made several little things. I made this and then I bent it. It looked like this. I'm going to stick it in a plant up at the office. And I think that would be cute. So I did that one. And then I needed a bookmark for my devotional. And I found this. It's not your traditional bookmark um it's a corner bookmark and i really kind of like it um it goes over like so and i like it um actually i did it backwards sorry it goes over like so and then of course when it's in the book you can't see that but it's got flowers and butterflies i did a lot of flowers and butterflies this weekend I don't know why. I think I was just because I was playing. Um, then I made, I played with some variegated, um, what do you call it? Variegated thread. I have found that when you're doing these, the variegated thread makes it look very busy. And I know this because I also made some traditional bookmarks. And I did this one. I like that's in variegated thread and I like it and then I did it in white so very nice comes out very nice um, you saw the egg which I thought was busy now then I took this pattern oops and as you can see when you turn it around it's kind of busy you can't really see the detail of the design so they're bookmarks and they'll both work. When you hold them up like this, you can see through and see the pattern. But yeah, then when you lay it flat on something, you can't really see the pattern on the variegated one. So I was playing with those. Um, then I made this one, just a cutesy. Yeah, I actually kind of like it the best. But anyway, I think it's the colors. Then I worked on some eggs for Easter and I did this one in some glitter and you can see when it dissolves here, it, I have not gotten, it's really wavy. The first one I did was really bad and it is what it is. Um, but it also doesn't lay flat and this one. And this one, 
and it got better. There were some edges that I don't know if my machine got off or whatever. Then I just took and hand stitched them so that I could use them. But this one, I like it. But again, the edge right here, it's really wavy. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with that. I got better with this one. I really like this one. It still has kind of some some edge stitching that I had to do. But you can't see it. It's handmade. Then, and I'm wondering if the water-soluble um, stabilizer that I'm using maybe needs to be doubled or it's not thick enough because do you see how wavy it is on here? Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do with these. And then it's so thin that my other petal literally got sewn apart and sucked underneath there. So I'm not going to be able to use that one. But these are going to be some 3D flowers. Each one of these. This is two up here. And you can see that it's all wavy. And I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. And then this right here is going to be a sunflower. Those are two parts. And I will curl the top part when you do it. I don't know. I might try two layers of this just to see if it helps make it stronger or make it lie flat, but I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Um, I did better on some things than on others, but I am practicing. I was reading on some of the things where it says, oh, your machine got off or this or that. I'm not sure if it's this or the patterns or what, but I'm going to try and correct it with two layers of stabilizer. So, believe it or not, all this lace, <laughs> this freestanding lace, took me all day. Okay. Each one takes right at an hour. Okay. So I literally spent hours doing this. I shouldn't have, but I did. Um, if I can get those eggs right, I wanted to do, um, some to give away at the office. So we'll see. Um, what else went on this week? Like I said, Warren was at the vet. He has some allergies. He had to have one baby shot because I messed up and read his shot records wrong. So he got his parvo distemper this weekend. He also has been scratching a lot and he has made wounds on his, around his tail and up by his neck. And apparently he has gotten a little bit of a staph infection because of it. So now he's on a, uh, he got a shot for the itchies. He got his distemper parvo shot. Then he's on an antibiotic and he will go back for a follow-up next month. In one month, he goes back for a follow-up. So, yeah, it's been fun. But other than that, I know this makes it a kind of a short uh, little podcast. Um, in the evening, I'm working on the big pink uh, over. Uh, it's a Christmas gift. I am. I just have half of a sleeve to do, and then the. Uh, Trim, the two rows of trim that go around it. So I'm getting there. I do that in the evening, but then I do this. Um, I did this this weekend. So, but yeah, the wind is about to kill my head. So, and I am working on maybe keeping these podcasts a little bit shorter and spending a little bit more time with my devotional. And with that going on, I really want to make sure that I get my you know, a little bit of time in on the elliptical and see if I can't get a little bit, uh, a little of my belly gone. You know how it is. Um, so anyway, just working on a new routine. Uh, podcasting is only 
today. So we will see how that goes. And we'll see how it works out this weekend. But, and I am going to do my daily tasks on my devotional. Um, some of the things that, let's see what, uh, start a journal. Um, let's see here. This week I have to start each prayer, each morning with prayer and gratitude. Um, then I have to. Uh, do empowerment affirmations. Uh, then keep a journal. There's a scripture that they, you know, do memorization and then community support, which the four of us is to support yourself with like-minded women who uplift and support each other in their professional and spiritual journey. We have four of those at work. Um, and because our bank is faith-based, it's easy to find spiritual women. So, um, I will be going today to try and get a journal. I probably will go by Hobby Lobby or something, um, and get that taken care of, get my journal. And they say to journal things that are positive each day that you've done. And not only does it serve to, um, show you that you're making a positive impact when it comes time for a promotion you know that big account you saved or the little um client that you made feel good and it's easier for you to look back on and get all your big accomplishments out of there plus see just how much of an impact you make daily so i do have to go at my journal and i will do that at lunch today and then uh yeah I'll go from there, but I am going to do this devotional. It, it's not a weekly, it's a daily, and it's not just a read thing. I have another one that I picked up that is, you got this, a hardworking woman's one. And it's basically a one pager. It, it's just a, you read it, you know, and then, you know, take a moment to recall your younger year, you know. So it does embrace you. Uh, it doesn't make you, makes you think this one does, but it doesn't make you incorporate it and actually do any action. And we all know that Christianity is taking an action. So while this is great to read and I will read it, I have read it today. And I read it. Um, this one I like because it's got the worksheet and each one has this. It's got a little thing, encouragement. It's got a prayer. It's got what to do to be in present, uh, uh, present in mind, um, action steps. Uh, there's a takeaway, and then there's a worksheet with three or four questions on it, and then there's a spot for notes. Um, so, it's each one of those is supposed to be a week-long thing that you um, read that same thing and do, you know, that same, you have a week to get everything done. How's that for you? <laughs> so, anyway. All right, I'm going to get off here, get my workout in, got my clothes going, and I will see you guys next week, hopefully with some more crafty stuff instead of sick dog and uh, cleaning the house and just sitting at my machine doing pre-standing lace. I will do something different. Oh, maybe have something finished and I can show you. Who knows? I will talk to you all later. Have a great week. And again, thanks for watching.